Hi everyone, you won't go till you're supposed to, knocked loose. Now, this is going to be kind of a controversial take on the album from everything I've seen so far, so that's why I'm wearing this shirt and these glasses to tell you I do in fact know hardcore. I do in fact know what I'm talking about. I am knowledgeable as to what it sounds like because I have some takes on this album. First off, I want to say I'd give it like a six, like a seven. It's not bad. I like it enough. Um, but there are some things I have particular gripes with and I feel like they're very personal to me and not necessarily the fault of the artist, though I do think the artist stray away from some of the things I would have wanted on an album like this, and therefore it's a little bit in the middle. Um, first off, I don't know if people read the Apple Music interviews they do with bands, but you should read those because they talk a lot about their own music. Um, specifically, they kind of mentioned how a lot of this album was them trying not to make a hardcore album. Not as in like they were trying to do something different and new, but like they just <clears throat> were trying to incorporate more rock and pop elements into certain tracks. And they had one track, Piece by Piece, which they were like, yes, this is our hate breed song. And like that does explain a lot to me personally when listening to the album because it doesn't feel like this is an album concerned with mosh pits or two-stepping like on a very visceral level it's just like you can't to some of these songs like thirst you'd get like a couple seconds in but it's it's a pretty hectic song um piece by piece is definitely i'd say one of the more moshable songs blinding faith as well but a lot of the other ones are they're a lot more straightforward they're a lot less hardcore oriented and they're much more traditional metal songs and i don't have a problem with that but i just, it wasn't what I wanted from this album. I heard Blinding Faith and I was like, ooh, ooh yeah, this is gonna be some guttural type shit, like in the fucking dumpster, it's gonna be fire. And, and then, and then I realized there was a poppy feature and I went, well, okay, I'm gonna have to hold my breath on that one. Um, and Suffocate is a fine song. I think it's one of the better songs on here. Um, and I think Poppy does fine. Do I particularly like it more than any other thing I listen to not really and that's the biggest thing about this album for me personally is that it's not a hardcore album that I'm more interested in than any other hardcore I listen to and I listen to hardcore daily at this point like <clears throat> not only am I going to shows every weekend if you couldn't tell by by this stuff um but I'm also like I'm just listening to it all the time and there are just bands that just do that more and Knocked Loose going away from it does detract from the intrigue I have in them as a band like if they I don't know if they continue to kind of veer in like they're still in the lane but they're veering and now they're kind of coasting on the right side of the lane and like you're supposed to really coast on the left that's what most people do preferably in the middle but if you need to on the left and they're just on the right and like I, it's giving me an ick and it's not because they're you know fucking flying off the road or anything it's just they're just not in the lane i want them to be in um and i think that's the best way i can sum up this album but let's talk about it a little bit more in depth rather than just this broad overview the guitars Ooh, I have like a personal relationship with how these guitars sound because for months people told me that my guitar sounded like shit and I didn't know what the problem was. I had a loose pickup. I had a loose thing where the cord goes into the guitar. It was loose. Um, heh, knocked loose, get it? Ha, boom. Anyways, um, and once I fixed that, it stopped sounding so boxy, so far away and listening to this album it sounds like they have a very similar problem i do think the guitar tones on are on purpose because when they play higher on the or when they play play closer ugh, when they play closer to the body higher up on the fretboard you get a lot more tone but when they're just doing the doom doom do, like it just it sounds really flat i guess and it's just it's not that interesting for me personally i really like the drums on this album though i will say the drums killer vocals 
everyone everyone knows what the issue with this guy's vocals are and that's just he sounds like his balls haven't dropped yet and that's fine like he sounds fine on this album i like his scream still so i'm not like i'm not pressed about it um and yeah i mean there's a bass in there somewhere you can't tell on streaming though so good luck finding it um and like from a lyrical perspective from like a narrative these songs are kind of just all over the place like even the band talks about it some of them have some more specific stuff going on some of them have um very religious overtones you know talking about faith in christ and the lack thereof the disguise it is you know some some normal hardcore lyrics in my opinion um and yeah i think that's the issue i have with this album at the end of the day is it's not doing a whole lot it's doing more but the more that it's doing isn't different or unique enough in my opinion to make it really stand out again i have a playlist of like it's like seven hours and it's hardcore stuff that i added in one day in one sitting and it was just like half the shit in my current rotation of hardcore bands that i listen to like there's a lot of variety out there right now, especially for hardcore as a genre. Mind Force is easily one of the best ones out there, like top five in my opinion. Um, and I don't know if I'd, like I, I just, I'm not that interested in Knocked Loose when I have other bands available. And I guess that's the thing I was really hoping this album would do. And they mentioned that in their interview. They're like, yeah, the third album is really a make or break and we have a lot of pressure from the music community, from ourselves, from the fans. Like, they're very aware of how this album gets viewed and how the view of this album is a big part of their success. But it just feels really normal. Like, like as someone who goes to grind shows, the, the like, the heavier parts of this album are like, if you want the heavy parts of this album, go listen to Full of Hell. If you think this album's super fucking heavy, go listen to Full of Hell. Go listen to anything they've made, and you'll realize that you can do that on a daily fucking basis. And that's, that's, there's a lot of things I have very specific feelings about on this album. And it's made me feel like I've been going insane the past couple days because I feel like I've been too big of a hater on it. In reality, I've just had some very minute complaints that are more representative of the genre as a whole and they just happen to be doing the specific parts of those problems that i really dislike but like it's fine it's a good album i don't dislike it i've listened to it i'd say like 15 times in a row um not in a row but like like in one sitting i will listen to the whole thing and it's a good album i like i don't have real musical gripes with it other than like I said, the guitar sounds kind of whatever sometimes. His vocals are kind of, you know, they're, they're, they're all right. Um, Thirst, ooh, I'm not going to lie. I think when, I think the biggest thing that tainted this album was I listened to Thirst for the first time. I clicked on it, and I got to that weird little, like, I don't know, the, like, scream switch off. And I was like, ooh, that doesn't feel great in my ear holes. And that that stained a good bit of that like first day the first few listens but since I've gotten away from that I don't mind this album it's like I said I think for me personally a six in reality it's probably a seven um will this be on my favorites of the year maybe if it grows on me but I don't know I'm kind of chilling with it it's I a little sad I didn't see them but the tickets were fucking insane um and Mind Force was cheaper 